So you think you know everything about your Samsung phone? Think again. Samsung devices are packed with powerful features that most people never even touched. From smarter ways to use your apps to hidden tools that boost productivity and customization. These hidden gems can completely level up your experience. Let's dive into 10 powerful features you didn't know your Samsung phone could do. The first feature is where you can action items on every app. So when you long press on an app icon, this reveals a contextual menu with shortcuts like composing messages, setting reminders, or opening specific app features. So the benefit of this is that it saves time by jumping straight to a common action without opening the full app. So let me just give you an example. Say for example, the call feature, you can go ahead and long press on this, and this will basically show you some common features where you can see missed calls, search for a contact or create a contact. Let's say for example, TikTok, go ahead and long press on it. You can see notifications or you can start recording a TikTok video. For example, Amazon. Here you can go ahead and search for a product, order, cart or deals. Let's say Instagram. Here you can go ahead and open up camera, view activity, new post and chat. In addition to this, you can go ahead and drag any actions from there and you can go ahead and create a new action out of it. So here from Instagram, I've dragged out camera. So when I go ahead and tap on camera, this will open up my camera view on Instagram. So I can repeat the process and I can do it for any app. So here I can go ahead and straight open shorts or I can search for a YouTube video or I can look at a subscriptions. The second feature is where you can show your phone's refresh rate. So on your Samsung device, you can basically display the current screen refresh rate 60 hertz or 120 hertz in real time. So whatever action you're performing here on screen, say for example, you're watching a video or you're playing a game, at the top left here, it'll show you a refresh rate. The benefit of this is it is useful for monitoring performance, identifying lag and optimizing battery life, especially for gamers or power users. So let me show you how to get this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your settings. Next, you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see about. Now from here, you scroll down again until you see software information. Now go ahead and find the build number and go ahead and tap multiple times. This will basically take you into developer mode. So you need to go ahead and tap at least seven to eight times until it says developer mode has been enabled. Once you see that message, go back. Now you'll see this new developer option. Tap on this. Now here, you want to go ahead and turn this feature on and you want to scroll down until you see show refresh rate, show refresh rate, show the refresh rate of the current display. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Once you turn this on, you'll see a number here. If you press home, you'll see that number here. And now any app I open up, it basically changes the refresh rate. The third feature is where you can turn on one-handed mode on your Samsung device. So if you have a big phone like this, a Samsung S25 Ultra, which has a 6.5 inch display, and when you use with one hand, you cannot reach all the way to the top right or maybe to the top left. So here you can go ahead and enable the one hand mode. So this basically temporarily reduces the screen size and shifts it to one corner of the display. The benefit of this is that it makes it easier to use large screen devices with just one hand, and it's ideal when you're multitasking or on the move. So let me show you how to do this. So first you're gonna go ahead and bring down the notification bar, tap on settings. Now you're gonna go ahead and scroll down until you see advanced features. From here, you wanna go ahead and find one-handed mode. Tap on this, turn this feature on. Now you can go ahead and turn this on by a gesture, a swipe down from the center of this bottom screen or a button where you double tap on the home button. So I'll go ahead and use this, the double tap mode this will basically reduce the screen and bring it down here so I can go ahead and reach to all the buttons. Here you can go ahead and customize this small screen here. You can go ahead and make it to the left hand side, right hand side, or you can go ahead and increase the size. If you don't like it here, you can go ahead and move it to the top left or the top right. The fourth feature is where you can create QR code for a contact. So when I say QR code for a contact, you can basically generate a QR code for any saved contacts, which others can scan to instantly save the contact on their device. The benefit of this is that it's a fast and a paperless way to share contact info, and you don't need to type or send it manually. 
So let me show you how to do this on your Samsung device. So first you wanna go ahead and open up the phone app. Go ahead and open up your contacts. From here, you wanna go ahead and select a contact where you want to create a QR code. So for example, this one here, we'll tap on the I. And now when we look at the full details of this contact itself, go ahead and tap on more. And now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on QR code. This will now create a QR code for this contact here. This will include all the numbers that you have stored for this contact. So for example, if you edit it and you fill in all these details, you'll be able to get all that information from that one QR code. So this way, anyone can come along and just scan the code and then go ahead and save it or call the person when they require. The fifth feature is where you have the extract text option. So this feature basically uses a camera or an image to detect and extract printed or handwritten text and convert it into editable content. So this is great for digitizing notes, copying from books, or capturing important details without manual typing. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the camera app. We'll go ahead and take a picture of this note here at the back. Now I'll go ahead and view that picture. Now to extract a text from this photo, we'll go ahead and tap on this T button here at the bottom right. This will now detect any text in this picture and we'll highlight it for you. So here, if you wanna copy any of that, you can go ahead and select it and copy it. Copy, you can select all or you can share it. I'll go ahead and tap on copy and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to my message. So here I'll go ahead and paste it. So as you can see, it has now copied whatever it has seen on that photo. The sixth feature is where you can calculate tips. So your Samsung's calculator app now includes a tip calculator that automatically splits the bill and calculates the tip percentage. So the benefit of this is that it makes dining out stress-free by quickly handling tip math and bill splitting it with friends or family. So let me show you where you can find this tip option. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your calculator. Now from here, go ahead and tap on this ruler icon. And now you'll see all these different categories which you can use your calculator for. So you can use it for area, length, temperature, volume, mass, data, speed, time. And the last one is your tip. So here you can go ahead and enter in your subtotal. You can enter in how much tip to give. And if you're going with a group, you can go ahead and enter in how many people to share it between. So as an example, let's go ahead and type in 125 pound was a bill. Tip was 10%. You can go ahead and change this if you like. So let's say the tip was 10%. So the tip amount will be 12 pound 50. So the total will now be 137.50. Now let's just say you went with six people, so tap done. And now this is what each person has to pay between the six of you. So that is £22.92. So using this calculator, you can basically just handle the tip maths and you can split the bill evenly among your friends or family. The seventh feature is where you can change keyboard colors on your Samsung phone. So on your mobile phone, Samsung offers several keyboard themes, including light, dark, and colorful variations. So the benefit of this is that it enhances personalization and improves visibility based on lighting condition or personal style. So as you can see currently, your keyboard is this style here, which is very plain and normal. So if you wanna personalize this, then let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up settings, scroll down until you see general management. From here, go ahead and scroll down until you see Samsung keyboard settings. Scroll down again until you see theme. So here you can go ahead and choose a light theme, a solid light theme, a dark theme, solid dark theme, or a color palette theme. If you don't like what you see, you can go ahead and turn on the high contrast mode. So here you can go ahead and choose if you want black letters on yellow keypad, white letters on black keypad, or yellow letters on black keypad, or white letters on blue keypad. So you can choose whatever you like from here. The eighth feature is where you can access your sound controls. So if you wanna access your sound control on your Samsung device, this basically gives you the full control over individual volume levels like media, calls, notifications, and system sounds. The benefit of this is that it helps tailor your sound environment like lowering notifications while keeping media loud. To do this, you wanna go ahead and press the volume up or volume down button. 
then tap on the three dots. Here you can go ahead and control all of these settings for your sound. You have your system sound, you have your notification sound, you have your AI assistant sound, you have your ringtone sound, and you have your media sound. So by doing this, you can control all of these sounds on your Samsung device. Another way of accessing your sound controls for video playback or audio playback, you can go ahead and bring down the notification bar. Go ahead and long press on your sound control. Here you'll be able to see the Dolby Atmos feature. So it's set on auto. You can see the equalizer, it's set on balance. You can go ahead and mess about with the boost dialog and the loudness normalization. If you go ahead and tap on any of them, you can go ahead and choose different options. And like this, you can go ahead and access your sound control for video playback or audio playback as well. The ninth feature is where you can group your alarms. So if you have a Samsung phone and you use your alarm quite regularly on it, so this basically allows you to group the alarms under labels like work, gym, or weekend for better organization. So say for example, if you go to work and you need to get up at six, so you can create three alarms and basically group them in one for work. For the weekend, maybe you want to get up at 10, you can go ahead and create that alarm for the weekend and group them for that. So this basically keeps your alarm list clean and makes managing reoccurring schedules much easier. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up the clock app. Now here you want to go ahead and make sure your alarm at the bottom left. Next tap on the three dots, then tap on alarm groups. Now you want to go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on add group, and now we'll go ahead and put down a category. So for example, school, Next, I'll go ahead and create work and then go back. Now here I have two categories which I've created. So I can go ahead and tap on one. I want to alarm from Monday to Friday and I want to go ahead and get up at seven o'clock. I can go ahead and create as many alarms as I want. So here for school, I've created two alarms. Now for work, I can go ahead and create another alarm. So say for example, maybe 12 o'clock, Monday to Friday. Go ahead, configure all this, confer the alarm background as well. And now like this, I've created alarm groups and organized my alarm more neatly on my alarm app. And lastly, the 10th feature where you can change your app drawer from horizontal to vertical. So when you look at your app drawer, you can go ahead and see that it's in horizontal view. However, you can go ahead and change this to vertical if you don't like the horizontal view. So this basically switches the layout of your app drawer to a vertical scroll instead of side-by-side -side pages. And the benefit of this is that the vertical scrolling is often faster and more intuitive, especially for users with lots of app. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and tap on the app drawer, tap on the three dots at the bottom right, then tap on sort, and then go ahead and tap on alphabetical order. Now, once you do this, this will now change your app drawer to a vertical list. So you can go ahead and scroll up and down to view your apps. If you don't like what you're seeing, go ahead and tap on the three dots, tap on sort, and then go ahead and tap on custom order. This will change it back to horizontal. And there you have it, 10 powerful hidden features that can make your Samsung device faster, smarter, and way more convenient to use. Whether you're looking to save time, get more done, or just customize your phone to fit your lifestyle, these tips have you covered. If you found something new today, don't forget to like, share and drop your favorite hidden tips in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, keep exploring.